Okay, so this is the, the Peugeot 106 Rally, and uh, we gotta change the heat and matrix radiator. We cannot fit it like that. I've tried a million different ways, and nothing works. So we'll have to disassemble the whole dashboard in order to put it in place. First uh, thing is gonna start removing here the radio and. Uh, I'll pull these ones out. These are the controls. Pull the knob out. Such a okay. It's out and you have a little egg screw under there, see? So I'll remove this as well. Mm. Next thing will be the radio, remove the front panel, remove this, okay, we have to disassemble the whole bloody car, just to change the heater radiator, and uh, this, uh, I've been struggling with this for the last, like, a few days, and, uh, I've tried a million different things to try and fit it without pulling this out, but I guess it's simply not possible. Okay. The radio pops out. It's hard to be doing this in recording, so I'll put the radio out and then I'll show you what's going on. Okay, I've pulled the radio out. Now I'll remove this screw here, which will hopefully pop this out. And there goes the mailman. Okay, so. Out. Pop this one out. And there's your connector for a, a bulb. Let me unplug that. Okay. And then there are here another two X screws that we're gonna remove as well. We're gonna remove these ones as well. Oh, and I had already removed the, the glove box, so that is very simple, you just have two plastic pins and you just pull it out, it's quite easy to figure out. Okay, two bolts removed, this pops out. I have this here, which I've installed. This is a temperature and voltage regulator, so I have to undo this, I have to unplug this connector, I fit it. Reg regular 106 Peugeot won't have it, won't have this, but mine has. And I have here another connector that I have to unplug, and this hopefully will pop out. Let me see if I can get it out. Okay, up here there are two clamps that I had to remove. And now the whole thing pops off. Okay, now we got here another two screws for this panel. We'll remove those. Pull those out. It will come out. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like this isn't coming out just like that. So next thing we'll remove will be this here. Get that one out. And we have another one here. 
this, pull it out. See, now you can see the fuse box. And then, and now we'll remove the steering wheel. We'll undo that bolt and pull the steering wheel out to disassemble this part in order to remove all this, as you see, all this part around here. Okay. Okay, so now we've removed the steering wheel. We'll remove these plastics. There's a screw here, another one here. We'll remove those and then we'll remove this part over here to pull that out. Okay, so we got the covers out. Now undo these two and pull that part out. Let me see if I can. You get the idea, right? This one pops out. And another one on this side. Okay, they both come out. No, hopefully this will. Oh, and uh, there are another two in there and uh, on that side as well. See, so I'll pull those ones out as well, okay? But, but, okay, but before removing these ones, and these ones will remove all this switches and knobs and all that stuff. We'll remove these three to pull this out and be careful there are some connectors here on both sides. So we'll remove that first, okay? These three now. Okay, now that we've removed those three screws, this moves. We'll just unplug these connectors here. We'll just un unplug the connectors very carefully not to damage the wiring and uh, and after we removed all that we will be able to pull it out. Now another one on this side. Oh, there's a clip you must press. You gotta press and pull, okay. That's it. And uh, this pops out. Okay. This pops out. Now, yes, we're gonna remove those two in order to disassemble that whole thing. Okay, now the four screws have been removed, and as you see, we have the thing out. Now, to remove these, uh, that thing, we're gonna remove that one, that one, and there's one on top in the middle. We're gonna remove those three out to pull that out, and we must be careful because there are some connectors behind that. Okay? Okay, now with all three bolts removed, the thing just popped out. Now we're just gonna unplug the connectors. Here in the back of it, there are plenty of connectors all around. We gotta be careful. And we're gonna unplug all those. See, that's the yellow one, white one, blue one and the uh, green one. So we're gonna remove those four in order to pull this out. Okay? Okay, we got it out. And that is how it looks. And uh, now, if you if you want to change 
some bulbs or anything of that kind. This is how it looks on the back. And this would be a good time to change the bulbs, which are here, you know? These are the bulbs that would be changed now. Okay. Okay, now to remove this panel, we got one here and one on this side and another one here. And I think there's another one underneath here. And I got these two here. These ones I had it because this was broken, so I'll remove those, all those and pull it out, okay? Regular 106 cars probably won't have these two as these ones I had it. And um, yeah, let's pull those out and pull the thing. Okay, and now with all screws undone, the whole thing comes apart, as you see. It's popping out. You only have to remove this here, which is giving me a bit of trouble. And we have some connectors here in the back, and uh, yeah. Okay, and in the back of that, this is how things go. Black connector is the for blinking lights. Yellow connector is for the the glass to get the fog out. And the white connector goes on the lighter. And this is the bulb that lights everything. Okay, let's unplug those. Okay, this is how it's looking right now. Now we only have to remove the dash. I think we'll have to remove this here in the middle because there's a bolt underneath. So let's go for that. Um, we'll remove this one. Okay. Now we'll remove these bolts here around in order to pull that out and then we'll, we can pull this plastic console out to get to the bolt that is underneath there okay so let's pop this out okay and now that we got this out we got one bolt here which has to be undone in order to pull this back let's do it we pulled out the windows the buttons to open and close the windows and now we'll unplug these and then we'll be able to remove it okay now we'll undo this one I had on the gearbox one there on this side can you see it? And one here on this side as well. We'll undo those three, okay? Okay, in order to undo these ones here on the side, we have to remove this rubber seal and the clip that holds the carpet. Move the carpet away and pull that one. Ooh. Let me show you. We'll move the carpet away and pull this one out, okay? And same thing on the other side. Okay, we've undone this one, but apparently we have to undo underneath the steering this one as well, because this black pipe goes all the way to the side, goes up, and goes there, and apparently it won't pop out without removing that, so I'll remove that one as well. Okay, now looks like we have some more here. We got the. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we got one, one there, another one there, and there must be another one. Yep, there inside. And this side. And can you see it? There's another one inside. We'll have to remove those three as well.
Okay, we've undone the three screws ahead on the bonnet and now there are another two that we have to remove here behind the radio so that one and that one on the side let's remove those two and hopefully the dashboard will pop out right the dashboard is popping out as you see there there's just one more thing getting it stuck which is the steering column column here and I'll try and pull it out without removing this so let's try it and that's it the dashboard is out of the car right now let's try and remove the the heater box so that we can change the bloody radiator Holy Christ, man. The guys from Peugeot, when, when they built this, what the hell were they thinking, those motherfuckers, man? Couldn't they have done it easier to change? Okay, so this is the heater box, and that's where, and this is where I have to fit the radiator, and the pipes have to go through those two holes. And there's another bloody screw underneath here, which... I'll undo right now. Okay? For God's sake, I'll have to undo this one as well. And that one as well. I have to remove that tube out of the way. God, this never ends. Not to remove the dashboard, but to remove the heater box, which is this one. You gotta pull it out to remove the heater box. And that's it. I got the heater box out of the car. It was hanging by a last one, which was this one here. On top of the box, that one. I had a bolt here. Threaded underneath. Uh, let me show you. There. And uh, it was going all the way into the engine bay. And that's why we couldn't remove this. Now, I will simply, I'll simply install the new radiator. I'll simply install the new radiator and uh, start assembling everything back together, man. How many hours will this take? Too many. Okay, I got here the radiator. And this will be a simple installation. You simply slide it in, in the heater box. Ouch! Slide it all the way in. And uh, it's in place. There's one bolt missing here. Hopefully this is not too far out. Let's see, because I think this was supposed to touch there. And it's not touching. I'll apply some soap on those rubber things in order for it for the pipes to go through easily now we'll put the heater box in place okay now we got the heater box in place again and the radiator is installed as you can see here and the pipes are going in the engine bay now what we'll do is we'll put the bolt on top bolt on top back on I'll put that back on right now we have the heater box with the radiator 
installed in place and uh, what we'll do now is uh, we'll put this back on to the steering column and then we'll uh, we'll put here the the connections for the hot hair to come on this side and then we'll connect the pipes on the engine bay okay I've assembled this one from the fan back to the heater box and now I'll connect the pipes on the inside of the engine bay uh, I'll connect the pipes and then install the dashboard and uh, try and get this going